Following the defeat of the demon of Kakristan, the party regroup in the town of Blackwater. Seeking out the locals, they find Elvie and Rika in the church at the edge of town. Here they are preparing for a battle, along with three priestesses and four scholars. The party offer their services to defeat the upcoming demon siege. Edric, horrified by the notion that any of the townsfolk should get hurt, convinced them to hide beneath the altar, charging Elvin and Rika with the task of killing anything that makes it through. The party of five heroes begin the battle preparations, unaware as to what is going to attack. We are playing through Caves of the Kobold Slave Masters, the third and final part demonic siege. I've decided to refuse the help of Elvin, Rika and the priestess and scholars that are in the church, instead opting to increase my party by one and use all five of my characters in a heroic and possibly final stand. I'll be positioning Balin, our elf, on top of the altar and all four party members in front as a line of attack. There are three areas to the church the door, the hall and the altar and I'm making a tactical decision to fight as a team at the altar. Hopefully that pays off. I'm going to be using three types of dice today, all d6. I'm going to be using a skull dice that I'm going to use to make the poison saving throws when the demons hit. It's a level 4 poison save but Ingrid our barbarian will get a plus 1. Once poisoned, you get one wound, or you can opt to take minus one to your defense. These green d6 are going to be for defensive rolls, and the red d6 are going to be for my attack rolls. I also have 18 tiny dice here to represent the minor red demons. As you can see, I'll be using cobalt miniatures to represent them too. Rolling a five on the demon strategy table gives a 50-50 split between the altar and the door. Nine demons at each of the two locations. As the party wait for the attack, they see demons appear before their very eyes. Nine small red monsters. They don't have time to react as the demons begin attacking instantly. Two small fast demons attack Edric the Heroic with poisonous pitchforks, the first jabbing out at her hero who fails to defend, dropping him to 8 hit points. Unable to save against the poison, it drops his defense to plus 1. The second demon almost immediately follows with his attack, giving Edric no time to defend, dropping him to 7 health points this time. However, Edric does save against the poison with a high roll of 5. This was going to be a tough fight. Three of the demons close in on our barbarian Ingrid Stormcrow. Without any sign of fear, Ingrid prepares to defend as the first demon launches forward with a pitchfork. Ingrid fails to defend the attack, dropping her health to 9. The poison drops her defense to 0 as she fails the poison save also. The second demon fakes the jab high and slashes low with a pitchfork, but Ingrid's injury has woken the barbarian up as she rolls a 6 to defend the low attack. Finally, a third demon almost immediately slashing high at Ingrid's face. It hits. It leaves a wound on Ingrid's cheek. She rolled a one, failing to defend. The poison also takes effect as she felt that also, taking one more wound, dropping Ingrid's total health to seven. Two more demons close in on our six-fingered spell slinger, Wilson. The first demon attacking hits Wilson in the thigh. Wilson rolls badly on his defence, taking one wound and dropping his health points to three. However, Wilson does manage to save against the poison. The second demon launches itself high, coming in for an aerial attack, landing a deep strike to Wilson's shoulder. Once more, Wilson fails to defend, but does roll well enough on the poison save. Wilson doesn't fare well against the fast demons, taking two damage in total, leaving him with only two health points remaining. Standing face to face with the demon horde, Crumble Oakenbeard, the dwarven warrior, readies himself as the first of two demons stab at his body. Hitting its mark as Crumble fails to defend, even with his plus two defense. However, Crumble does manage to save against the poison, only taking one wound so far. 
The second demon stabs for Crumble's foot, drawing blood as Crumble fails to defend once again. Also failing the poison save, dropping his defense to plus one and his health by a total of two, down to six. As the attacks ensue, seven more demons enter the altar area, with two demons staying behind to guard the door and the hallway areas. Now it's time for our heroes to cut some demons down to size. Edric tightens his grip on his two-handed sword and swings low thanks to an exploding six and his plus three attack cleaves through two of the demons letting out a heroic roar as he feels the sword cut the flesh. <coughs> Upon hearing Edric's guttural scream Ingrid rages unleashing her barbarian strength slicing one of the demons in half thanks to her plus four attack modifier. Wilson, not faring so well in the first round of combat, decides to use one of his balls of holy water. Reaching into his bag, he pulls it out, smashing it into the face of the nearest demon, melting him into a mound of slime. As the demon continues to dissolve, Bailey Windlance, stood on the altar behind his comrades, draws his bow back and lets fly an arrow. Hitting its mark, it takes out another demon. Finally, Crumble Alkenbeard, the dwarf, lets loose with a crazed look in his eye. Begins swinging his halberd at plus four, cleaving the small demon's head from its neck as he rolls a full. The party have begun cutting through this quite large horde. As the rest of the horde move up to attack position, Edric prepares to defend. The first demon jabs forward as Edric rolls a six to defend. The second jabs high, keeping our heroes up at arm. As he fails his defensive roll, dropping him down to 6 health points. The wound was not deep enough, however, to poison Edric as he rolls his save. The final demon once again strikes high, once again hitting Edric, who fails to defend against the speed of the demon, dropping him to 5 health points, but once again saving against the poison with a roll of 6. The demons continue to swarm. They attack with Ingrid as the first lunges forward. Easily landing the blow as Ingrid fails to defend and also fails the poison saving throw, taking two health points of damage as she no longer has any plus defense. The second demon swings high and lands a glancing blow as Ingrid fails to defend, however Ingrid rolls high to avoid the poison. The third attack comes low and fast, too fast for Ingrid to defend, but she does once again avoid the poison. All three attacks did in a total of four health points of damage, leaving Ingrid bruised and battered and on three health points. Two demons close in on Wilson the wizard, the first thrusting his poisonous pitchfork into Wilson's chest, as Wilson fails to defend, dropping him to one health point. Attempting to save against the poison, Wilson fails. The demon drives the pitchfork deeper as Wilson's limp, lifeless body slumps to the floor. Wilson is down. The second demon turns his attention to Crumble, who now faces three demons. Standing strong Crumble, but even with his plus one defense, he fails to defend the quick demon's attack, dropping him to five health points. Failing to save against the poison, Crumble's defense now drops to zero. The second of the three demons attacks fast and high, swinging downward. Hitting Crumble who fails to defend, now dropping him to full health. However, this time Crumble rolls high on the poison save. Finally, the last demon to attack. Jumps forward, hitting Crumble for the third time, dropping him to three health points. Crumble does manage to save against the poison, but takes a lot of damage this round. With Wilson dead, the party of four face ten demons. The odds are not good. But Edric once again swings his two handed sword. His roll of four and plus three attack is enough to kill one of the demons. Ingrid follows Edric's attack with her own plus four attack, rolling a three and killing one more demon. Is this going to be enough? Balin reaches into his bag and launches a vial of holy water at the nearest demon, dispatching him back to the hell which he came from. Crumble summons all of his rage into one last attempt. With his plus four to hit, he rolls an exploding six. And another. 
And one more. This is insane. And a five. Cutting through four demons. Leaving only three left at the altar. That is insane. The three remaining demons at the altar begin their attack. Demon number one takes a stab at Hedrick who fails to save. Taking one wound and dropping his health to four. Failing to save against the poison, his defense drops one to zero. Demon number two attacks Ingrid. And once again, Ingrid fails the defense roll, dropping one health to two health. She does, however, save against the poison, surviving for one more round. The final demon at the altar closes in on Crumble. The attack is too fast for Crumble, who rolls badly on his defense. However, Crumble's adrenaline and high poison saving roll mean he only loses one health, leaving him with two remaining. Edric uses his holy water, dispatching the first of the three remaining demons. Ingrid rolls a five to attack, adding a plus four, easily dispatching the foul demon that stands before her. Bailin, like Hedrick, also takes advantage of his final holy water, killing the last demon in the altar. The heroes easily dispatch the two remaining guards, posted in the hall and doorway, securing the church and emerging victorious, but not without loss. Let's take a look at our rewards. Each surviving character gets 200 gold and 1 XP roll with each fallen character getting one resurrection attempt. Let's roll for XP. Edric's XP roll. He is a level two currently, so needs a three or higher. And he rolls a one, remaining at level two. Next is Ingrid, who is currently level three, and she needs a four or higher. She rolls high, taking her level to four. Next is Wilson's resurrection attempt. And Wilson needs to roll a 2 or a 1 to succeed. He fails the roll. Wilson is lost. A sad day indeed. Next to roll is Balin at Elf, level 2. So 3 or more is needed. And he rolls a 5, levelling up to level 3. And finally, it's our Dwarf Crumble, who is level 3. And needs a 4 or more to succeed. And he rolls a 6 and proceeds now to level 4.